Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 14, working with loop stays. In this session, we will learn how to work with the loop stays. The basic principle of Blue Prism is to automate repetitive work and as such process will probably need to repeat some of the steps over and over again. So far, we have only looked at the simplistic linear paths. But now we have a circular path called loops stays for iterations. We are having a scenario over here. We'll call business object call to a collection, retrieve the variables from a collection, action item in the business object, move to the next line of the collection, action send the item in the collection and repeat it to the collection until it completes. So what is mean by that? So I want to add two numbers in the collection stays by using loop stays. Okay, and also I'm having another scenario, add or subtract two numbers in the collection stays based on the highest value by using loop stays. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Let me click on Studio and let me go to Practice for Calculation Stays. In the previous session, we have added collection stays. All right, let me go to the properties of the collection stays. If you see over here, I'm having variable collection and I'm having A, B, and result at the names, and I'm having types as number for all the names. If you see the initial values, I have given some of the initial values over there as 100 and 200, and the current values we have seen over there, the sum of the values, only for the first row in my previous session when we were talking about the collection stays. Now, my intention over here is that we have to get all the results for each and every row in my current values, right? How can I go ahead and do that for this one? So what I'm going to do, the main concept over here is that iterations is the main thing. So we have to go through the, all the rows in my collection stage and we have to get the values in our current values as an output, right? Let me do one thing. Let me. If you see on my stage toolbar, I'm having a loop over here. Let me drag and drop onto my canvas. Let me delete this links first. I'm going to add these loops over here and I'm going to link him from start to loop, start one, and loop one, start one to add, and add to loop end, and loop end one to end. Let me go to the properties of loop start one. So I'm just giving as the name as loop add because of um, what are the values that I'm having in the collection over here variable collection and I'm going to add one by one based on the loop condition until it has to complete right if you see the collection I'm going to give it as variable connection and I'm clicking on okay okay if you see over here what is the values that what I'm having if you see the initial values 100 200 20 100 50 100 and so on right now, what will happen for each and every record, it will add the values over there by row by row, and it will show the result in variable collection dot result. Let me see that one. Let me go to errors. Are there any errors or not? We don't have any errors. Let me reset, and let me go ahead and let me execute that process. If you see over here, if you see out of row, two or five, row three or five, it is, each and every row, it is going to add the values and it is going to store the values in variable collection and the results values. If you see, five rows has been successfully completed. Let me go ahead and let me open the current values. If you see over here, I can see 100, 200, 20, 10, 30, 50, 10, 60. It has been adding each and every row and after that, it's showing the results in the result values. So this is the purpose of the looping concept or loop state that what we are going to use it. This is the simple addition that we are going to use based on the collection stays as well as by using loop stays. This is the simple one that what we call it. So this is the one scenario that we are going to check it out and we have successfully completed it. Let me go ahead and let me save it as of now and I'm saying it success. Just I'm going to give the description over here and I'm going to close it. And if you see, I'm going for another process, process practice session for decision state. If you see over here, this is also the same way that we are going to do. I'm having calculation method, calculation method data 
item that I'm having one of the property, one of the data item, and then I'm having four different data items. So first of all, what I'm going to do in this one that I'm going to add collection as well as the loop stays. First of all, let me go to collection and I'm going to give it as a variables. I'm just saying as variable collection and then I'm going to add the fields over here. What is the first one? If you see over here, I'm having calculation method. Let me add a first field as calculation method. So what is the type that is the, you know, text is the property, right? And then I'm going to add one more field as variable A. This is the, for the number. I'm going to add one more field value variable B. And this is also number. And I'm going to add one more field as result. And this is also as a number. Okay. And now I'm going to say, okay, you can see the variable collection over here. Now I can go ahead and I can remove the value. Now, if you see, that I'm having the values over here and I'm going to initialize the value by adding add row. So what is the calculation method? Just now I'm going to give it as sum and I'm going to give it as 200, 300 and I'm keeping result as null. And I'm going to give one, one more method of sub, subtract and I'm going to give it a, a as 300 and B as 500. and I'm click on OK. Now what I want to do, I have to complete all the variable collection. What of the, if you see over here, row one of four, I'm having four rows over here. So that what I have to do, I have to make it a repetition each and every time. Correct. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a loop condition over here. So if you see over here, when I'm going to drag and drop, okay, I'm having loop start and loop end over here. Let me make it properly. I have not changed any process over there. For the looping purpose, I just added loops from the status to from the stage toolbar. And after that, I have linked from start to loop start one and start one to if statement. And if you see that I have changed from some of the two numbers and adding, uh, you know, the based on the addition, A minus B and B minus A, and I'm going to loop end. And then finally, I'm going to an end. Now let me see the loop start one. So I'm just saying as for loop and then I'm going to give the collection as variable collection and I'm going to click OK. Now let me go ahead and let me check what, if there are any errors out there or not. Let me go ahead. If you see over here, invalid expression because of we have changed the collection types, but we have not changed any conditions or any if statements, some of the numbers, all the things, right? Let me go ahead and let me check it out. Now, if you see in the variable collection, what we're having the calculation method, right? We have to change this one to calculation method. Let me check, evaluate the expression. Okay, close it validate it, it's valid, and click OK. Now go to sum of two numbers. What is the sum of two numbers? Let me go to collections once again. If you see variables, variable collection A plus variable collection B, and the sum of the value we have to store in the result of the variable collection of OK. And now going to A is greater than B. If you see, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm deleting this. Variable A is greater than, I'm just writing the expressions over here. And just, I'm going to check that validate it. It's valid. Let's move, go ahead and let me go ahead and check it out. If you see, I'm going to A minus B. I'm going to change these values. Var variable collection A minus variable collection B. And the result is going to store in result. Okay. Finally, B minus A. I'm going to change this collection from change the expression. I'm going to check it out variable B minus variable collection of A. And then finally, I'm going to store the results in store and result. We don't want to bother about the coding over here. Okay, the, this blue prism or the RP has given a beautiful expressions and beautiful drag and drop options over there. Now, if you see, finally, let me go ahead and if you see, these are all the errors missing link. Where this missing link? Okay, if you see anchor, I want to delete this anchor. Let me go ahead and let me execute error for loop. What is the for loop? Okay, there's no linking between. 
and finally we are going to link this and from for loop to end now finally we are going to check it out is there an errors no it has been successfully executed successfully without any errors it has been successfully created now change it i'm just giving as for loop the description i'm going to save it and i'm going to say it as okay and then let me go ahead and let me reset if there is anything let me run the process by using for loop if you see it is going for each and every method each and every row in the variable collection if you see row 1 row 2 it is changing based on the values see i am not going to change the data items every time going to the collection and then i am not changing it what are the values that we are having in the variable collection row by row it is going to be executing based on that it is going to store the values in the result and finally we are going to get the values and it is going to be an end this is the advantage of the for loop let me go ahead and let me check the variable collections of rows in the variable collection going to current values now if you see 200 plus 300 is equal to 500 for the sum of the values if it is not subtract the values it is going to check it out a is greater than b no then it is going to be deducting 500 minus 300 200 in the same way sum of the values 500 plus 200 is equal to 700 and the subtract also if you see 300 minus 100 is 200 this is the way that you know we are going to work for the for loop or loop state that we are going to work it Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.